Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make my version of chickens are crazy. Let's get started. Get a good size pan and add in one tablespoon of ghee. Put the gas on and let the ghee melt. Here I have two medium size of chicken breast pieces, cleaned, cut in medium size cubes, washed and drained fully. Once the ghee melts, add in the chicken. Put the gas up and mix this in on high heat. Once you have mixed this in properly, let this cook on medium heat for seven to eight minutes. Make sure to stir quite often. The chicken is done. Take the chicken pieces out and place it in a bowl. And you can keep the chicken stock to use at a later stage. In the same pan, add in three to four tablespoons of cooking oil. Oil could be adjusted as you go. Add this in. Once the oil heats up, add in one teaspoon of ginger paste, one teaspoon of garlic paste. I'm using my mixed paste. Add in three bay leaves and three cinnamon sticks. Put the gas up and mix this in. Fry this for two to four minutes under high heat. I'm just going to give this a quick stir. I have a video on how to make mixed garlic and ginger paste. Do check it out. Add in two medium onions cut in medium sized cubes. Add in five to six green chilies cut in half. Add in the salt. As a diet, I'm using just under half a tablespoon. Put the gas up and mix this in. Once you have mixed this in, put the onions just under medium heat until the onions are soft. Make sure to stir the onions at times to prevent it from burning. I have only cooked my onions five to six minutes under medium heat. I don't want the onions too soft. I want it to remain a bit firm. Add in one third teaspoon of turmeric powder. Add in two teaspoon of chili powder. Adjust this to your taste. Add in one teaspoon of curry powder. You could use hot or mild version. Add in one and a half teaspoon of cumin powder and one and a half teaspoon of coriander powder. And finally, add in half teaspoon of garam masala. Put the gas up and mix this in. Once you have mixed this in, put this on low heat for 10 to 12 minutes. Make sure to stir at times. During this cooking stage, the spices will become very dry, so add in the stock you kept earlier. If you never have any stock left, you can add in some hot boiled water. Just add little amounts at the time and mix this in. I'm going to add in a bit more of the stock I kept. Once the spices are cooked, add in one tin of chopped tomatoes. Put the gas up and give this a good mix. Let this cook for two to four minutes, just under high heat after you have mixed it in. Add in the chicken. Put the gas up and give this a good mix. Once you have mixed this in properly, let this cook on medium heat for five to six minutes. Make sure to stir up time. Add in one small red and one small green pepper cut in medium sized cubes. Add in two medium tomatoes cut in small pieces. Put the gas up and mix this in. Once you have mixed this in, let this cook on medium heat 
for 12 to 15 minutes. Make sure to stir fry often. Now I would add in half a cup of hot boiled water. Put the gas up and give this a good mix. You don't want the dish to be too runny or too dry. So add water according to the consistency you want. I have cooked this on high heat for four to five minutes. At this stage, you can taste this salt and adjust it if required. The dish is nearly done. Garnish it with four to five tablespoons of finely chopped fresh coriander. Some sliced green chilies. Put the gas up, give this a good stir. Cook for further two to three minutes and turn the gas off. And this alfrezi is ready. This would go perfectly with naan bread or plain white rice. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more delicious recipes.